Hey guys, Katie Nolan here. The Garbage Time Podcast is coming your way in just a second. But first, today's pod is brought to you by producer Matt's underpants. They sure are. And what comfortable underpants they are, Katie. <laughs> Mac Weldon, longtime sponsor of the show. We appreciate them. Their clothes are better than whatever our listeners are wearing right now. So why aren't you wearing it? Mac Weldon is the most comfortable underwear, socks, shirts, undershirts, hoodies. I wore mine today. Sweatpants that you'll ever wear. All their products naturally eliminate odor. Don't ask how they do it. It might be magic. They can't tell us. Not only does Mack Weldon's underwear, socks, shirts look good, they perform well. You can wear them when you're working out, whether you're going to work. If you're going on dates, you studs. 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 And they want you to be comfortable, right? Yep. So if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it, and they will still refund you. No questions asked. Go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off using promo code garbage time at checkout. That's M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N.com. Promo code garbage time. All one word. No spaces. Today's pod is also brought to you by the Black Tux. Do you have a wedding or a special event coming up and need a tux now? Don't panic, guys. Don't panic. The Black Tux designs modern fit suit and tuxedo rentals that deliver straight to your door. And now the Black Tux will give you a free home try-on. So you can see the fit, feel the quality of their suits before your event. Doesn't that sound dope? The best part, you can do it all online. You don't have to talk to anybody. You can choose your own look at their website, theblacktux.com. Prices start at just $95. Usually they cost like hundreds of dollars and you have to go to the store like three different times and get sized up by a weird dude and that sucks. Uh, These ones are designed, their suits are designed with fine Italian wool, which I hate to have to tell you this every week, but bitches do love fine Italian wool. Uh, It's the highest quality on the rental market and their expert customer care team is always available to answer questions. Questions like, hey, producer Matt, what are you wearing today? Well, Katie, I am wearing a black tux. Oh, is that what that is? It's happening. I'm wearing it right now. You should check it out on YouTube. I look. Can I feel your leg? Feel it. Feel it. They even give you free socks. Guys, that's fine Italian right? wool. Free socks that Whoa! you get to keep. I found that out today. That would be weird if you had to return um, them. Yeah, they were like, please don't return your dirty socks. <laughs> it says that on the label, I swear. It was really funny. Uh, this is actually pretty comfortable for how uncomfortable I feel wearing mm. a tuxedo to a podcast, but it's very comfortable. It fit, right? Yeah, it's it good. Looks great. You commented the pants, on it. The pants fit great. Nice yeah. little bow tie action. I feel kind of like a spy who gambles poorly on the yeah. NFL. Um, you yeah, look feels exactly really good. like that. That yeah. should be your Halloween costume this year. Yeah, it might be. Maybe I'll just keep it. Sorry, Black Tux. Double Seriously, o, thank you, Black Double Tux. O and seven. Oh, that's really good. I don't know what the number really seven good. would represent there. That's really good. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, if you want to wear a tuxedo to a wedding or a podcast <laughs> your office, visit theblacktux.com slash garbage and experience a new way to rent. Theblacktux.com slash garbage. Let's do it. Ford, you look exquisite. Thank you. I feel exquisite. Welcome feel to the Garbage good. Time Podcast, you guys. I'm obviously joined today by producer Matt. Hello. Um, who's dapper as yeah. fuck. Ford, Matt Ford. Yeah. That's how I feel right now. Yeah. Like a, I get it. Like Bond. Spy. James yeah. Bond. That's yeah. good. You sounded just like him. Yeah, I did. I really went for it. It's a little early I'm for I'm really a committed martini. to this bit and no other bits, I think. That's good. I that's think that's a how I feel. Good sign for the yeah. podcast. Very good. Uh, before we get into Fade That Pick, some things to chat about. Number one, someone faded my picks. They did. And made money. This we this literally happened in the world. Yeah. You've caused someone to be richer. Yeah. How does it feel? Most people. I've caused a lot of people to be a lot richer. Jamie Horowitz, Charlie <laughs> Dixon. Um, that feels good. I could not believe. This was uh, at Unicorn on Moon, which is yep. sounds like not a real person, but that's the world we live in today. That that's Unicorn right. on Moon verified verified account. Pretty sure he had a blue Ver- check mark. Yes. It's actually a unicorn on the moon. He they picked, verified that. Was this, I don't get how gambling works because I don't do it. Um, but was that, he was in Vegas, I assume? Because when you get it printed on a ticket like that, that means you're not doing that online. He was in Vegas. Yes. For sure at a casino. He picked the Bills plus three and a half, the Redskins plus four and a half, the Vikings plus six and a half, and won a hundred and thirty dollars. It's amazing. It's amazing. Someone did it. He just didn't do the the fourth game because it was the Pats and they were the Thursday Thursday. game. Right. They, he faded all of my picks. Right. Plus your lock of the week. Yep. Yep. hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah. So look, you're doing a public service for people. I know. You're welcome, guys. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. I couldn't believe that when I saw it. So if you want to send me the half of that I am owed, yes. you can just Venmo me, and I'll take that $65 math. 
Yeah, it's good. Yeah. That checks out. Six red checks out. Checks out. Um, anything else to chat about? Other I mean, your suit? My suit's good. Where were you uh where were you last Sunday? I was in Green Bay. Very good. I got cool. a shirt there. Oh. Got a new look, shirt. Look, you dressed for the occasion too. I did. I That's, feel uh, like one of us is comfortable. <laughs> what is it says legendary, it has some spectacles on it. This is your this is your quiz. Who is this? Uh Vince Lombardi. Oh, Vince Lombardi. I was, so I have a Vince yes. Lombardi shirt on. I thought it was good. Dan Schwachter, actually. Here. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is yeah, a, no, it's actually uh, a video. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is, yep, a Dan Schwachter t shirt. Oh, uh, yeah. It's for uh, Gregory's Vince coffee. Lombardi. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you look really close, they're little coffee yeah, mugs. Yeah, you blur your eyes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I went to Green Bay for a shoot for NFL Films Presents, which is a so show cool. that I'm doing on FS1 now. Yep. It airs on third. It airs on a time. You should check your local listings for what time it airs. On Thursdays, I think. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but so I went to Green Bay to do a shoot, and I got to go to Lambo, which was on my, I don't like to have bucket lists, because there was yeah. only like two things on it. But one of those things was Lambo. What's the other? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't ever remember, like, what do you want to do before you die? It's like, I don't know, You're drink. living a really thorough life. That's bar. good. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Or I just have no goals. <laughs> one of those two things is true. But I got to go to Lambo for the first time. I was on the field. I saw Peter Schrager. Nice. Which is always great. He was wearing a purple tie. So people weren't really into it because you know they don't like oh, the Vikings yeah. what there. Is that? What a weird choice. But the weirdest thing was how few Lions fans were at Lambeau because Detroit is not very not far, far from from Green Bay, and there really weren't that many. It was just all Packers fans. The Packers, of course, looked amazing this yeah, weekend as compared yeah. to how they've looked the past few weeks. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, you had uh, cool seats too. I saw your Vine. Was it Vine? No. Well, something. Does anyone Vine anymore? It was some. It was an incomplete pass that. Yeah. yeah. Was you, that about Snapchat? About it. Snapchat. The kids, it's the kids are snapping and chatting. Yeah, didn't know days. I was on Snapchat. Snapping, chatting, but yeah. no Vine. Yeah. I don't even know if I well, still have Vine on my seats. phone. There's too many apps. Let's make yeah. them all one. Too many. Uh, yeah, the seats are pretty cool. Thank you to NFL Films. Uh, and I saw a bunch of Garbage Time fans there. So cool. Yeah. So cool. I met, uh, I got to FaceTime with this girl, Lexi, who's been a fan of the pod for a really long time. Her brother was there, but she wasn't, and so I FaceTimed with her. So shout out to Lexi and everybody else I met that day. There was a lot of them. You were all memorable. They were no, they were. They were just like there's a lot of them. They were all really That's cool. That's great. I got I engaged to one of them, and then wow. we broke up right away. So oh my that was, gosh. it was. I don't really want to talk about really it. Really traumatic day. Yeah, for it was really yeah, like wow. it was ups and downs, peaks and valleys. Yeah. You know. Okay. Peaks, valleys, and bays. So. <laughs> That's how it was. But that kid will always be remembered as my green bay. Oh, my B-A- gosh. Wow. B-A-E. That's amazing. I am so in touch with the kids. What a special place. I've Snapchat, mentioned Snapchat bay. and Bay in the yeah, first wow. five Vince minutes. Vince Lombardi. Kids love him. Kids love Vince. Yep, they do. And fine Italian wool. Okay, That's it's time to love. fade some picks. Well. You ready to fade some I picks? I am so ready to fade some picks. How did I do last week? Not good, Katie. Uh, you went so great then? So great. I mean, yes, you did literally do well for others. You went one and two, two and ten overall, 0 and two locks of the week. This yeah. is working as it's supposed to work. Yeah. Crushing it. Yeah. Crushing it really hard. What's our first game? First game, the London game on Sunday morning, uh, Indianapolis versus Jacksonville. Colts favored by two and a half. Mm-hmm. The Colts own their division. I kind of forgot about this until I was doing some research. Colts are 17-5-1 against the spread in their last 23 against this crap division. It's a really bad division. Yeah. So both these teams are 1-5, which is yeah. insane. Because everyone thought the Jags were going to be good, right? And the Colts are just, they have one good player on their whole team, their quarterback. Who? Well, even that, debatable. <laughs> Very, yeah. Don't, don't. You dare shit on Beanie Baby Hotel. He's great. Beanie Baby Hotel. T.Y. Hilton. Damn right. A little bit of a mind riddle mm-hmm. there. Solved it. It's Katie's fantasy team name. Yeah. Beanie Baby. Oh, it, it actually is? Hotel. Yeah. Oh, I like Because I took T.Y. Hilton. It's a thinker. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, I like to make people think. Yeah. I like to get the wheels turning. It worked for me. Uh, London. So this game's at what time, Eastern? 9.30. Okay. So the good thing for, for me that I like about a London game is that you wake up at 9.30 and there's football. And then yes. by the time that's over, you're like getting close to the one o'clock games. Then there's football, football. Fo- so you all get day. it all fucking day. Yep. Like 15 hours. I feel really bad for people on the West Coast though. Yeah. Because that's like if you, I mean, I don't think most people have a lot of fantasy players on Colts and, and <laughs> Jaguars. <laughs> but I mean, you got to set your lineup at like 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. 
it bothers me, speaking of fantasy, like tonight, I get, don't ask me to explain why, but I'm starting Ryan Tannehill tonight on I Thursday I started Fitz game. last week, so I... Oh, wow. You don't have to explain anything to me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we'll talk about it. It's just like there's so many time slots. Like there's a Thursday night, a mm. Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, Monday night. I like, I have no idea when anyone's playing. Football's taking over. It is. It's too much. It's, it's too much crazy. for me to keep track of. Yeah. Um, how do you, do you like these London games? Well, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Like New England's played there a few years ago, right? And yeah. Washington, my team's playing there this year. I, it, I hate it for when my team is playing over there. Why? It feels like I have no connection to them. It's at this weird time. In this like weird stadium, I can't imagine what their week is like. Mm. You know, I feel like I can't predict the outcome yeah. ever. There's too many variables. Yeah, I just don't get like why they put like an actual game there. Put money. some preseason games there. Money. But don't they like make money from having games at their normal stadium? Yeah, you know and they're I mean? actually currently losing money on the on the London deal. They don't make I enough money s- because yeah. of how much it costs to put them on. But if they keep doing it for a long time, it's going to become really profitable, and then they'll just move right. the team over well, there. So, like, they have a deal with there, Wembley yeah. through 2020 that they'll be they'll have two games a year there. Okay. And in 2018, when Tottenham's new stadium opens up, sorry, who's that? Ta- the Tottenham Hotspur. The San Antonio Spur? Spurs. Spurs. Spurs or Hotspur? I know that you don't you don't fuck that San up. San Antonio. Yes, the okay. the Tottenham Hotspur. Their stadium opens in 2018, and they have a deal with them that they'll do at least two games a year there. Okay. So in 2018, 2019, 2020, we're going to have at least four games in England. Mm. And a Mexico City game this year. That uh, That's too a much. wild card. It's Why are we much. going to – what are we going to do when President Trump builds the wall? I, How are we going to get to Mexico City for football? We're just going to lose the Raiders or maybe, whoever's playing there. Maybe <laughs> Trump won't back. build the wall for the sake of football. Yeah. Well, if that's the reason, we'll take it, I guess. I don't yeah. know. It's pretty confusing. But you know who loves London games? Who's that? The Jaguars. They do. They requested they do. this year to have the early game as early as possible in London because every year that they've played there, which is every year because right. they have a deal over there, uh, they've come back and played better. Really? So in 2013, they were 0-8. Uh, they, came, they went to London. They lost. They came back, had a bye week, then went 4-1. Really? In 2014. Ooh, this is good stuff. One and nine. Okay. Went over there, lost over there, came back three and three. This is insane. 2015, they were one and five, went over there. They won there. Weird. Then they Don't came back it. three and three. Wow. So it's the turning point for their season. Yeah. So now this year they got it in the fourth week, right? Yeah. Yeah, week four, yep. And so they're going to come back and they're going to hope to just absolutely crush it. It's like the Jaguars are basically that kid you knew in college who went away and like found himself abroad and then came right. back and was like wore hats and yeah. glasses and started stuff. Started drinking macchiatos. Yeah. He was like totally different. You like, even in Italy. I don't even know who I was before I went to London. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool bro. It was like eat, pray, love. These games are the eat, pray, love of the NFL. <laughs> Jags, pray, love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So who's going to win it? What's the spread? Two and, and a half. Two and a half. I like Indy, don't you? No, I really just don't like them as a team this year. I don't They're, feel confident yeah. in them. I don't. Jacksonville might not be good at all. That's what I've learned from watching them and betting on them a few times. Uh, they've they've really looked bad this whole season. Mm. And I think that there's a chance that Gus Bradley just moves to London after this. There have like, been times yeah, where the coaches like don't come back. <laughs> just yeah. leave them. Just, I mean, that makes sense. They've got to buy... Maybe he loves London culture. Like he, I hear he likes fish and chips a lot. So just leave him there. I don't know. I think everyone. there's so many variables that they could easily just win. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna take Jacksonville plus two and a half. Why am I doing that? I don't know. I'm doing I it. I don't though. know. I'm doing it. All right. I believe. I'm feeling reckless today. Good. I wore boots. Yeah. And a t-shirt. And you're sitting next to a spy. And you're wearing a tux. Yeah. So I'm saying Jacksonville plus two and a half. Fade that pick. <laughs> it's as good of a reason as I have for picking stupid Andrew Luck. Uh, second game, Katie. Seahawks at Jets. Seahawks favored by two and a half. Um, so I don't know if you saw this, but Ryan Fitzpatrick last week. Who's that? He. Who's that now? Threw. Um, Who was that person? He threw six interceptions. Mm-hmm. Um, one away from the all-time record, which is seven. But he might have... Who has the all-time record? It's a know? bunch of people I looked yesterday. Oh, that's okay. Someone looked that up. Uh, so he could have thrown 15. I watched that whole terrible game for some reason, 
and he was aiming for Chiefs. I saw your tweet. It was bananas. You were like, he's trying so hard for that interception, <laughs> and he finally got it. It was crazy. Like, yeah. three guys dropped it in a row. Oh. It was sad. Why is he doing that? Yeah, I'm not totally sure. Um, so I have, as everybody knows, my struggle this year for my fantasy team is that I have Fitz and Tyrod, which is like oh an embarrassment of riches. But so Tyrod was playing against, <laughs> who'd they play? Uh, Somebody with Arizona? Arizona yeah, yes. and I was like, oh, that defense. There's no way I can start Tyrod. Well, right. I probably should have because Ryan Fitzpatrick put up negative two and a half points for me. <laughs> you could have just left quarterback I open. Just you would have been better. should have not started anybody. God, it was bad. You know, I, some people are in two quarterback leagues. I'm in a, if you combine my two, I'm in like a half a quarterback league. <laughs> You're the Browns of your fantasy yep, league. <laughs> sure am. It's just a headache. Um, this game's weird though, right? Because the Seahawks haven't really looked very consistent. Russell's banged up now. Yes. Russell and practiced yesterday, but still a little banged up. The Jets have had flashes, but are also have flashes like last week. Yeah. Yes. So it's really tough to predict this game. Yeah, Jets are weirdly good at home. Uh, they're 8-3-1 and one in their last 12 at home, so that makes them seem like maybe kind of a good pick. I keep picking them, though, and they keep fucking me. Yeah. I don't know what to do with this. Me neither. Um, the, the one story I wanted to run by you. Yeah, though, are we going to see Geno Smith is my question. Right. So everyone sort of thought, like, if, you, if you're not going to bench Ryan Fitzpatrick with six interceptions, is Geno Smith ever going to play? Yeah. And he posted this picture. Did you see the picture mm-hmm. that he posted of himself? He's just kind of like, it's just kind of a neutral face. And his head's, like, off to the yeah. side, and he just sort of looks like... Sad ish. It's like yeah. somber. Right. Detached almost. Right. I mean, you can Google it, but I'm trying to describe it for no, you. No, it's pretty accurate. It's kind of like a Manning face, but with less self disappointment and right. more sadness about the future. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And yeah. he should be pretty sad about his future, I yeah. think. But he said to caption this, like the photo, and Jets fans like had themselves some fun. Uh, one of them was uh, when you realize Fitz throws six interceptions and you're still the backup. Wah, 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 pretty good. Wah. Uh, when Fitz throws six picks and they said, I suck. I like Jets fans. They hate themselves. They do. Yeah. They do. I, I don't really, them. I don't love them, but, you yeah. know, whatever. He deleted the picture. He did. Because he didn't realize that that wasn't probably the good time for a caption contest. Yeah, maybe. I maybe. don't think there's ever been a good time on the internet for a caption contest, if Never. I'm honest. No. Whenever I see caption this, I'm like, delete this. You know where this is going. Hey, internet, what's your opinion of yeah. me? Hey, what could internet, go wrong? Make yeah. this a joke. Yeah. No. Not good. Not for the best. Okay, so the line on this game, again, it's Seahawks minus two and a half. It's an away game for the Seahawks. Yep. What are you doing? <sighs> Can't believe I'm saying it. Taking the Jets. I think uh, I like home underdogs. I think the Jets have to be better than they were last week. Going to go with Fitzpatrick. What could go wrong? Both of these teams have burned me in terms of picks this season, but I'm going to take the Seahawks minus two and a half. Nice. Because hey, we're at odds today. Whatever. Like- I know it's good. This is good. Yeah. Your suit is making you make the right picks, yeah. which is not what we do here on this podcast. <laughs> uh, before we get to our last game, let's talk about Quicken Loans. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans proudly supports the Garbage Time podcast, so you should proudly support Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. They bring the mortgage approval process into the 21st century, fast, powerful, and completely online. Rocket Mortgage has taken all the complicated, time-consuming pretty crappy parts of applying for a mortgage out of the equation. Do you hate searching through stacks of old files and paperwork? Yes. Yeah, because if the answer is no... Something's wrong. You're weird. You need to talk to somebody. You're weird. You should be a secretary for work or a male person. Because those... They deal with paper quite a bit. A lot. Yeah. But I don't like it. That's why I'm neither of those things. With Rocket Mortgage, you can easily <laughs> share your bank statements and pay subs with the touch of a button, helping you get approved in minutes for a custom mortgage solution that's been tailored to your unique financial situation. Even better, with Rocket Mortgage, you can do all of this on your phone or your tablet or your laptop, wherever you want to. It's a quick online process you can manage from the convenience of your couch, or your futon, or your bed, or your, or your love sack. Do they still make those? Those Sorry, big ass, what is that? the big bean bags that you sit on. Is that what they're called? Love. You guys didn't have a love sack in your mall love when you were in. Love sack, baby. No, this is good. We can't pay for that. Yeah, it's forty grand. We're only allowed to use one B fifty two song in the pot a year, and we did Brock Lobster already, we did. so we can't do big love shout sack. B fifty two. Uh, back to Rocket Mortgage. So if you're looking to <laughs> refinance your mortgage or buy a home, check out Rocket Mortgage today at quickenloans.com slash garbage time. Equal housing lender, licensed in all 50 states, nmlsconsumeraccess.org, number 3030. Also, guys, Blue Apron. Yes. 
let's talk about Blue Apron, which has turned me into a goddamn chef. Right, it's true. Yeah, Uh, Blue Apron's mission is to make incredible home cooking accessible to everyone, and boy, did they crush it. Blue Apron achieves this by supporting a more sustainable food system, setting the highest standards for ingredients, and building a community of home chefs, which all sounds really good, but the only thing that matters is this. I cook dinner now. Katie does cook dinner. I cook dinner. The transformation has been unbelievable. It is incredible, and I only have a couple battle wounds (laughs) to show for it. I burnt my wrist putting... uh, thinly sliced fennel and onions into a pan. Now, I didn't even know what a fennel was. Mm. And suddenly I'm cooking it. And it's delicious. On my menu this week, I'm glad you asked. I'll be making a brown butter and thyme gnocchi. What? Uh, I made made Korean pork tacos two nights ago. And there's a blackened chicken with some sort of a rice thing. And you know why I'm not perfectly clear on it? Because I didn't have to go to the grocery store exactly. and buy all the ingredients. They got sent to me with like a perfectly beautiful card of what it's supposed to look like and step-by-step instructions of how to get it from food to better to edible food. It's insane. It's amazing. Learning, you guys. Learning a little bit more about them, I was amazed that like they were really conscious about like their waste management stuff, which yeah. like, I care a lot about. The, the portion size like I didn't really understand that yeah, yeah that's the amazing thing I'm never like eating it going oh my god I gotta pack up all these extra things when I go grocery shopping and you buy like you can't buy one chive you have to buy a bunch but then right. when you get Blue Apron they send you just what you need right so you're not throwing a ton of stuff away right. and if there's a spicy um uh, menu item you can they can they make it so that if you don't like spicy food you don't have to put that part in like it's easily adaptable to what you want it's amazing everybody should use it uh, check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash garbage you will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with blue apron so do not wait that's blueapron.com slash garbage blue apron a better way to cook but much better than what I used to do which is not which is burn everything <laughs> blue apron is better than burning everything that is an improvement Third game. Third game, Katie. Steelers versus the Chiefs. Probably the best game of the week, I think. The Steelers are favored by five and a half. That's a weird line. Um, It is a really weird line. Uh, The Steelers have won their last five at home against the Chiefs. Kind of interesting. Uh, And also the big news here, Le'Veon Bell's back. Jamal Charles might come back. How? What is the percentage of Jamal Charles coming back? I think pretty good. I think he's in that like questionable, doubtful range, but that's kind of where he's been every week. Um, but this game kind of makes no sense to me because the Steelers just sucked what so bad. What the hell happened? I Coming into last week, maybe because they just crushed the Redskins in week one, I was like, they're good. I'm mm. not going to worry about the Steelers mm-hmm. at all. And then they absolutely had an abomination against the Eagles. And then the Chiefs, who were like, eh, maybe just... We talked about Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's dead now because yeah. he had such a bad game. He died. So I, I'm just not. I just don't know what to do here. So now I'm coming to you. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, I'm just that's what do you whatever should do. You, the opposite of what you do. Okay. That's the point is. Well, so my in, my first inclination is if it really it really is going to make a difference if Charles is back or not. I think so too. Because without him, their offense doesn't look great. Granted, this is coming from a person who will admit that I was traveling for, on Sunday of last week and did right. not watch the their game last week. Um, so I don't know you what happened a lot there. Of interceptions. Yeah. Did they throw pass passes? <laughs> the the Chiefs? Yeah. The Chiefs looked good. I mean, the the difference to go back to your Jamal Charles point, like Spencer Ware has these like really bad fumbles. He's like everything Jamal Charles plus many fumbles. Mm. So he had like a really bad Spencer one last Ware week. are your motor skills. <laughs> 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 my fantasy you football like team name right now is Spencer Wear My Pants. <laughs> True story. Who's Spencer? Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, back to Jamal Charles then. Uh, yeah, I think that it's uh, it's really going to make a difference. Do they have a, a wide receiver touchdown yet this season? I know that's usually oh, a hindrance on the Chiefs. That's right, yeah. Is Macklin still on that team? Did Ryan Fitzpatrick go to Harvard? No, Yale. Yeah, Yale. Yeah, that's People right. get that wrong a lot. They do. Uh, so yeah, I really don't know what to do with this game. I'd say if Jamal Charles is back, I'm taking. I'd say the Chiefs are going to win. Yeah. But either way, that's a pretty big cover. line. Yeah. So it they're is a gonna. Big cover. Mm, big line. But the I mean, Le'Veon Bell's great he at is good. football. Yeah, and I think he'll be back with like kind of a vengeance. But the line. It's though, a very high line. Where is this game? It's in Pittsburgh. Okay. So. You have to make your pick first. That's how the podcast works. That's how it works. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. The Steelers really confused me last week, and I'm a little upset with them. Um, I think the Chiefs The Chiefs are like a really streaky team. Remember last year they were like 11-5? Mm-hmm. I feel like they're, uh, they kind of like 
they move in spurts. So I think that I like them this way. They move in Tottenham Hotspur. Yes. <laughs> Got it. I'm going to take the Steelers minus five and a half. Don't ask me why I fade that pick. Wow. So we were different in all three this week. Yeah. Wow. That yeah. That bodes really well for probably me. Yeah, and also nobody else because now they don't know whose picks to fade. Right. It's kind of the beauty of the segment. We can be like, idiots, you fade the wrong pick. Duh. Yeah, very meta. Um, and before we get to junk mail, i got to give you my lock of the week. This week, I'm going with my girl Meg Kelly. She told me to take Denver minus three on the road versus Tampa, and I agree. I think that's a really good pick. I buy that. Trevor Simeon is good Might be good. Might be good. Yeah. Yeah. Tampa, Tampa not, not, not so good. good. Yeah. So Denver, minus three. Lock of the week. I like it. Yeah, me too. All right, time for junk mail. All right, Katie. This is from Jason Waterfalls. Don't go, Jason Waterfalls. This guy's life has been validated. <laughs> he put so much thought into this stupid pun of his Twitter name that's not his real name. It's not even his Twitter handle. And Katie Nolan just sung it at him. We sang a lot of songs say this is going to cost us. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell the police. We're stealing the police. Music. Roxanne. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing derail. Uh, so oh, okay. back to Jason Stupid Waterfalls no! at Cranman85. Oh, don't at him. Please don't at him. At him. Uh, he asked, What is the dumbest thing you have ever done at a tailgate? Ooh, good question, Jason. Yeah. Have you uh, ever been to a tailgate? Just kidding. No, what is that again? It's, uh, is that I'm when you drive too. too close to somebody on the highway? Yeah. That. Uh, dumbest thing I've ever done, doesn't seem dumb on the surface, but always ends up being dumb for me, is playing football in the parking lot of a football stadium. It's not a good idea. While drinking. Yeah. yeah. Don't know why I do it. There's cars everywhere. I know I have a competitive spirit. I know if there's a pass that I got to really go deep for, I'm mm. going deep. I yep. know I'm not going to be looking around for people's tabletop grills and folding tables and chairs and of such. Not. It's I'm going to run into something. I'm going to twist an ankle. I'll probably cry because I've been drinking. Right. And then it's just going to be a thing that we yeah. all have to deal with. Right. Last year, after a game, because we were at Gillette and the parking situation there, for anybody who knows, like you've got to leave early, which I will never do at a sporting event, no. or you're sitting in traffic. There's one road to get you to Gillette Stadium. And so everyone has to take it on their way out. So when you leave a game, sometimes you'll just stick around and drink or hang out, not whoever's yeah. driving, but the people that aren't driving, and wait till the traffic clears and then you'll go. After the game, we're all shit faced, it's freezing. We're playing catch with two strangers that we met. Yep. And one of the guys goes up for a pass, falls, hits his head. One of the guys I'm with oh is a God. doctor in med school, Harvard Med. He knows Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's <laughs> at Harvard Med, but he's shit-faced. Okay. And he goes over to the guy and he's like, he's definitely concussed. He is concussed. And I'm oh like, my God. I don't know if you're right or if you're wrong because you're you're drunk. Right. So we didn't know what to do. We had to like call an ambulance for did, this stranger. Did you have to like pull him out of the game and have him evaluated by a third party of yeah. medical professionals? Yeah. Roger Goodell walked by, walked by and was like, he's fine. And so we were like, oh, good. He's fine. But like the doctor said he's concoosed. concoosed. And that's when I went, not sure we're going to take that diagnosis. Concoosed. Okay. Very not a NFL word. coach of you at yeah. that moment. Yep. Right. So um, that's the dumbest thing I've done at a tailgate. Get drunk and play football with that many people around. Yeah. And always somebody walking by goes, you, oh, she plays like a girl. Like, just leave me alone. Just, just leave me let alone. Me live. Just shut your dumb, stupid mouth and let me catch the ball. Yeah. And I'll and, and get it. like split my knee open because I dove for it because I don't want to miss it. Because of commitment. Yeah. Really committed. Yeah. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done at a tailgate? The dumbest thing, I'd, I'd like to say something I witnessed uh, in college at University of Maryland. They have big tailgates for football games, and I was walking with a bunch of friends. And you're allowed to drink in the tailgate if you're 21. And, like, sometimes the police, like, the police are there, but sometimes they'll correct Roxanne. you. But it's like, if you're holding a beer, they're, like, mostly confident that you're 21, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're walking. Sounds like good policing. Yeah, right. Uh, so we're walking, like, out towards the stadium, and this kid is that I'm friends with is drinking a beer, sees a policeman and just, just quickly like puts it on the ground and keeps walking. And the cop's like, Hey guy, like obviously <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? Just, just like act natural. Just hold it. It was so funny. And Did he, he get arrested? No, he didn't get arrested. He, he should have gotten arrested. Though. He should have just for being an idiot. Yeah. Like just commit to your drinking bit right. and just like, Oh, I'm fine. I'm normal. I'm, yeah. I'm 23 year old man. Yeah. No. There was one time I went to a Patriots game that was so cold that we started up the grill put the food on it, got back in the car, and, like let it sit there, yeah. went back out, like 
15 minutes later and the burgers were still frozen. Really? It was so cold. That was the oh game I went gosh. to where my beer froze. I was ask, yeah. The game against Denver where we were losing and everybody left at halftime and then we had this like epic comeback. That was, we being I the Patriots. That. Uh, it was so fucking and, cold. NFL Films captured you dancing in the crowd. They sure did. Didn't forget. And now Never forget. that's my boss or yeah, something. That's right. Like that. Okay, guys, thanks for that question from Jason Waterfalls. This is uh, that's it for drunk mail. That's Grand it for the garbage man. time podcast. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes. You can rate us and leave a comment, but only if it's five stars. Only if the comment is nice. Otherwise, you should just like mow your lawn or something. Cause it's about to start getting really, really cold. There's yeah. like frost in the air, and it's, it's you're gonna want to mow the lawn season. now. That's right. Because you're gonna not want to do it, you know, later. So, She's right. So five stars, nice comment, or mow your lawn. Um, be sure to nope I already said that you can also listen on SoundCloud <laughs> Art19 or you can watch this video it'll be up later today at youtube.com slash I very much suggest that because again producer Matt against everybody's wishes wore a tux today and we yep. were all like that's so weird you like Just this is really uncomfortable to. and he was like I need to do this for yeah. my for myself yes so that's why I did it for whatever reason I guess you should probably go watch it uh, you can listen to us anywhere that it is that you listen to podcasts you can even listen to it on a hand blender a hand blender mm -hmm. oh how does that work? Um, so you turn it on. Okay. And then you listen to the oh. podcast. Wow. Anyway, thanks to producer Matt. And as always, thanks to you guys for listening. We will see you next week. Bye. Love you. Mean it. <laughs>